In simplifying exponents using the power of quotients rule, we remember that the general rule is to distribute the outside exponent into every part of the equation in the numerator and in the denominator. Actually, it's an expression, not an equation. So in this example, we are going to take our three that's on the outside and we are going to distribute to the eight, to the five. And remember that this is four raised to the first power. And so we're also going to distribute it to the one as well. And how do we distribute? We're going to multiply our exponents together. In the, when it's on the inside of the exponents, we're going to add them together. But when you have a power to a power rule, we are going to use the same as the power to quotient rule. All right. So here we go. We are going to have four. One times three is going to be thir to the third power times b to the 15th power times z to the 24th power. All over, now we're going to distribute to the denominator as well. So in here, this is going to be 2 to the first power. And so we are going to put 1 times 2. 1 times 3 is 2. Uh, excuse me. 1 times 3 is 3, so it's going to be 2 to the third power. 2 times 3 is 6, b to the sixth power. And 3 times 3 is 9, so it'll be z to the ninth power. Now, it seems like we have larger numbers, but we got rid of the parentheses, and that was the main thing. So we go back to how do we divide divide a fraction or exponents that are in a fraction. So we are going to see the largest number and we are going to subtract it from the bottom number here. We see the largest number is 15 and then we are going to subtract the power of 6. And so we can go from here. 4 to the third power is 15 minus 6 is 9. So b to the ninth power, 24 minus 9 is 15. So we'll have z to the 15th power all over 2 to the 3, 2 to the 3rd. And since we will no longer have b to the 6th and b to the ninth, it's just over 2 to the 3rd. So let's simplify. 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is 64. 64 b to the ninth, z to the 15th, all over 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, which we could even simplify a little bit more because this 8 goes in one time and 8 goes into 64 eight times. So our final answer would be 8 b to the ninth, z to the 15th. All right, let's go ahead and erase this. And you can go ahead and pause it if you needed to finish copying down the steps to the problem. But let's move on to example number two. In example number two, we see that the three gets distributed out. And this is going to be y to the first, eight to the first. One thing that I could do here, if I notice that 8 can go into 2, I could simplify the fraction ahead of time. And this will help me out. So 2 goes into 2 one time, 2 goes into 8 four times. So I can do that if I so choose to do so. And I could do it with my other terms as well. But let's check it out. Here we go. So we have 4, y to the third power, because we're distributing this outside exponent with the inside exponent, w to the 18th power, all over 3 times 2 is 6, so y to the 6th power, and w to the 18th power. When I simplify it just a little bit more, I notice that 18 minus 18 would be 0. So w to the 0 power is going to be 1. So those are going to cancel out. And then it shows me that 4 is going to be by itself on the top. 
because when I subtract these two numbers, my largest number is six, telling me that's going to stay on the variable is going to stay on the bottom, and six minus three is three. My final answer is four over y to the third power. Nicely done. Let's go ahead and try example number three. This is, seems like a little bit less intimidating, but still we need to remember our basic rules. So the first, we're going to distribute 9 to the first power. It's going to times 3 is going to be 9 to the third power. 5 times 3 is 15, so that's going to be times d to the 15th power over 8 to the third power. Not 8 times 3. It's 8 because there's that exponent of 1. So it's 1 times 3. So it's going to be 8 to the 3rd power. D is also to the 1st power. So 1 times 3 is 3. And so we're going to have D to the 3rd power. Our largest number is 15. That stays. So we know our answer is going to stay. So this D to the 3rd, I'm going to subtract 3 from here, leaving me with 9 to the 3rd power times d to the 12th power all over 8 to the third power. Let's go ahead and simplify this. I could go 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times 9 is 729. So we have 729 d to the 12th power over 8 times 8 is 64. And 64 times 8, we're going to look at it. We'll have 2, carry my 3, and we will have 512. And there we get our final answer of 729d to the 12th over 512. Nicely done. Are you guys getting the hang of this yet? If not, just review and rewatch this video as I go through each of the steps and show how to distribute. Here we go. Problem number four. We have nine raised to the second power. Remember that is a nine to the first power times the outside exponent is nine squared. R to the eighth power times C to the fourth power. Next, we have 5 to the first power squared, so it's going to be 5 squared times r to the second power. And that remember that r is to the first power, 1 times 2 is 2, times c to the sixth power. Now we look at our largest, so we see our largest numbers here, and our largest exponent for c, variable c, is down below. So we know in our answer, we have 9 squared, which is 81. The r is going to, variable r is going to stay on the top in the numerator, and 8 minus 2 is 6. And since the largest c variable or the exponent for variable c is in the denominator, it's going to stay on the bottom, so 6 minus 4 is 2. So we will have c to the second power. <coughs> excuse me, that we don't want to forget our 5 squared, which is gives us 25. All right, guys, keep practicing on the powers of quotients. Remember the distributive rule. The general rule is distributing the outside exponent to the exponents on the inside. Don't forget the exponent with the coefficient, and don't leave those out. Good luck, and I hope you have much success. Thank you.